again. I decided to show you a second recipe that we love to make in our Instant Pot here. It is a family favorite. It is a Cafe Rio style sweet pork and I'll show you those ingredients. It's very few ingredients, takes no time at all. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is select saute on our instant pot. I just have it on 11 minutes, but it will accept that saute mode and click to on. And it's gonna start heating up that element here. So as that's warming up, I'm gonna take our two tablespoons of olive oil and put that in the bottom of the pot. One of the things I love about the Instant Pot is right now the oil is heating in the bottom of the element, but I can still touch the top of this. It's cool to the touch. So that's another little safety measure that um, is available in the Instant Pot that you wouldn't get with the traditional on the stove element. Okay, so another thing I like to do to my pork roast is I like to section it, um, just cut it into quarters so it cooks faster and I'm just going to take my salt and pepper and I'm gonna season that. And then you actually don't have to season all sides while it's here on the plate. You can do that once you put it in the Instant Pot to brown. Okay, so I'm gonna take my seasoned pork roast and I'm gonna put that in seasoning side down. See that? We're gonna brown this in the Instant Pot. So once you have those placed in there, you can just salt and pepper to taste. And we're gonna brown that on all sides. So this recipe calls for a two pound, around two pounds of pork roast. If you're feeding more people, I would definitely double that. You don't need to double the sauce that you use for the pork roast. You could do two pork roasts, Cut those into two quarters and brown it as we are doing in the Instant Pot right now on saute. And then just add the same amount of sauce that you would for the original recipe. So as you're browning this, you're going to brown each side for about two minutes and then switch. The Instant Pot is reading hot. You wanna go ahead and hit cancel. And that's gonna turn off the saute mode to those pork roasts. And then I wanted to show you in the bowl, this was yielding about six cups of juice. You're not gonna need all six cups when we cook um, the pork roast in the Instant Pot. So you're gonna take about half of the juice and you're gonna pour that right over the top. Okay, with our Instant Pot to off and the sauce over our pork roast, we're going to put the lid on. Sure to turn your lid all the way. Make sure that you're not inventing that you are actually on the sealed portion. The pin is dropped. We're going to turn our instant pot to pressure cook and it's going to be for 35 minutes. When it accepts that time, it will click to on and then it's going to build the pressure within the instant pot. It takes about five minutes or so. So this is about a 40 minute cook time and then about a two minute uh, instant pressure release. We are actually done. <laughs> Great timing. All right, so we're going to do a quick release with the pressure cooker. And I, like I said before, I like to take a towel and move that over so I'm not burning myself. I'm gonna let that vent. It's gonna take about two minutes to do a quick release of that pressure. So right now we're just waiting for it to complete venting the pressure from the Instant Pot. We're waiting for this pin to go down. Once that goes down, then you know it is safe to open your Instant Pot and that the, all of the pressure within the Instant Pot has been released. 
It's been about two minutes, almost three minutes. There we go. Okay, there's no sound. The pin is down. It is time to open the Instant Pot. Okay, here we go. Open that up, and when you open it, go ahead and let all that hot water drip right into the pot so you're not burning yourself with that hot water. Okay, here are our pork roast sections in the sauce. We are going to remove the sections of pork roast and put them in a large bowl and shred them. We're going to add the remaining sauce into the Instant Pot with the shredded pork roast. You can see it's really tender and it shouldn't take much time at all to shred it. So you're just gonna take the rest of that sweet pork and pull it apart. So we've got our pork roast all shredded and ready to go back in the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna take the remainder of our sauce and just pour that into the Instant Pot. And then we're gonna take the rest, the remainder, all of our, we're gonna take all of that pork, put that in the Instant Pot and make sure that it's all covered. You also wanna make sure, come to your Instant Pot, select Cancel, so it's on off, and then just select Keep Warm. Now, if you need to transport this somewhere, you can always put the lid back on and take it in your car. Um, otherwise, this is ready to go for whatever recipe you're using your sweet pork for, whether it be salads or tacos to serve over nachos, to put in chimichangas, however you wanna do this, or you can just serve it over rice. But doesn't that look great?